Shanghai says game over. Game over. 11 days left until the end of this year. Game over. Game is over. What's going on with this game over drama? This is obviously very important news because Shanghai's sales is number one in terms of overall volume for Neo in China. All right. Shanghai has the most number of vehicles delivered and they have like five delivery centers. It's just incredibly important for Neo as a company. But the government says game over. What's going on? Neo is also saying game over. 25 days. This is their own poster inside their store. 25 days until game over. Now my friends, if you read the translation, which I will do for you, it means 25 days, and this was a couple days ago at the start of the month, 25 days until free license plates for Shanghai and free taxes is, are going to be gone forever. Yes. And they have these posters in the Neo stores in Shanghai. And they're basically telling everybody, get your Neos right now. Buy a Neo right now. Otherwise, no more free license plate. You can't buy EV next year. Uh, this obviously will have a very big impact overall for 2024 sales. Because like I said, Shanghai has the most number of uh, sales for Neo. And for the longest time ever in Shanghai, if you wanted to buy EV, you just have to pay and then you get a free license plate. No problem. Here in Beijing, it's a very different story. Back in 2019, they changed it. Uh, before that, in 2019, it was also, oh, you want to buy EV, you get a free license plate. But then by 2020, here in Beijing, if you want to buy EV, you have to roll the dice. And the chances are very slim, like 9% chance. Or you can buy a license plate off of somebody else or rent it off of somebody else, basically, essentially. And uh, that means buying a Neo is incredibly hard. Buying EV is incredibly hard here in China. And you have to have that thing called Zhibiao, which is permission to have a license plate, which is just a, impossible to get. And very difficult and gap and, and, and but you guys should be happy like new energy vehicle uh chances are like seven percent gasoline chances are like three percent so you got people that have been rolling and rolling and and just rolling the dice forever and they've they they haven't gotten a license plate permission so they can't even buy a car unless they rent it rent that permission off of someone else but then the car would have to be in their name and you would have to sign a contract that's a very complicated situation so that is coming to an end in shanghai by the end of this year and i've hinted about this in some of my previous videos this is very very big and that means starting next year you'll it's going to be harder to get a license plate and you also have to pay taxes even if you do have a license plate uh, taxes we talked about that above 30 34,000 RMB 340,000 RMB you have to pay taxes uh, anything below that it's pretty much free it's exempt so that's that's well in Neo's category Neo's cars are all 300k and above so you can expect uh, there to be taxes if you want to buy a Neo here in China. But the good thing is bass isn't considered. So if you buy like a car that's 400K, Neo 400K, but then you choose to rent the battery instead of buying it, then you subtract 70K, then that's 330K, and that's exempt from taxes. So that's the, that's the, that's the only sweet thing that we can get out of this. But overall, the impact of this is huge. And we've seen, we're seeing a lot of people have anxiety in Shanghai because they're worried that the year's coming to an end. We got to buy a car very soon. And this even got reported on the news. And people are just like, oh, they're panicking. They're panicking. They're thinking, oh my God, should I buy a Neo or should I not buy a Neo? Sales reps, Neo sales reps in Shanghai are telling customers, uh, pros prospects, that you got to buy it now. World, game over. Game over. Game over. You can't buy it next year. Too bad, too bad, so sad. You're gonna miss out. GG, game over. So a lot of people are worrying about that, and that could be a p reason why sales are sort of slightly jumping up right now. 
and people are pulling the trigger right now because next year you gotta roll for the license plate and pay taxes or buy it off of someone else and at least if you buy a license plate off of someone you gotta at least spend it probably around maybe like 70,000 RMB or maybe a hundred thousand RMB just to buy a license plate so yeah it's it's not cheap okay now obviously the implications of this is huge all right and I think this is why you guys are subscribed to my channel because I offer you the good and the bad and in this case this is uh, not terrible news but it's uh it's down there all right it's not good news obviously not good news it's going to make Neo's biggest market have trouble buying EVs in general, all right? It's not just Neo that's affected. It's everybody, okay? Remember, this is license plate in general. It doesn't matter which EV you buy. You want to buy a Neo. You want to buy a Tesla. The same deal. Every And other people are advertising this as well. BYD, uh, they're all advertising this countdown as well. Neo's posters, I mean, that would be pretty be pretty anxiety inducing 25 days left or uh, 23 days left 22 days left what i mean if i was a customer and i'm walking in oh my god but it does work it does work it does work it does get a lot of people to purchase the vehicle when i was uh about to buy my vehicle i was hesitating ah should i buy it i knew i wanted the ec6 it was pretty good looking I was thinking maybe I should wait, but then there were like six days left until unlimited free battery swap goes away for life. No more unlimited. It's gonna be it's gonna be like limited free battery swap. I'm like, screw that. Pull the trigger, buy the car, place down the deposit, place down the order. Now, three years later with this baby, still very good. So those tactics definitely do work, but overall going into next year, um, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Now, if you watch my interview with Neil's general manager of Beijing, and I'll link that over here, and you have to watch that interview, he talks about something very important. We talk about sales, and we talked about how Beijing, even though it's the capital of China, it's number two in terms of most Neil sold uh, compared to Shanghai, which is number one by a big margin in July. And uh, he talked about how uh, Beijing is a restrictive market. Basically, for every vehicle sold, uh, you have to have one vehicle off the road, basically. And I think Shanghai is progressing towards that. They're not giving away free license plate anymore. News advertising that, text messages telling customers all about that. Uh, right now, it's, it's unclear what it's going to look like next year. Uh, but... If you have all the, apparently if you have all the information uh, set this year, you can still get license plates um, if you like buy the car and everything this year and have all the information ready. Uh, so I'm not too sure, but you know, know that this is happening. They're not giving away free license plates anymore and there's a big urgency. And it definitely goes without saying that this will be another obstacle in terms of deliveries for 2024 it's one extra step there's definitely still going to be a lot of people buying neos in shanghai it's just harder all right it's just harder and you know it to could totally be possible that there's more people buying neos in 2024 but with this obstacle it's it seems like all right if logically speaking all right very logical answer there's going to be fewer deliveries of EVs in general in Shanghai because of this, all right? Not just Neo, everybody. But it could totally be possible that other buyers decide to buy Neo instead and they roll for the license plate, etc. They go through all the process. That's up to you to judge. I'm just here to present you the information, what's happening, what Neo's advertising. 20 days left, 25 days left, 11 days left, game over, game over, no more license plate, no more tax exemption that's what it is all right you be the judge you formulate your own opinion about what sales might look like in 2024 my opinion is, is, is just one extra obstacle there's still going to be people buying cars but going to be difficult so we might see a small dip all right we might see shanghai also become one of those restrictive markets like beijing where to buy a vehicle, you have to have one vehicle off the road, have these license plate permission things that are just 
pain in the butt to deal with. Once again, if you want to understand more about this, I recommend you go watch my video that I made back in August, interview with the general manager of Neo in Beijing about sales and everything. Go check that out. There's also strategy stuff in it. So click that video, stay safe, stay healthy, peace out.